Hello again everybody, so today I'm back and today I'm going to be doing a trilogy review. So as anyone that saw my Red Rising trilogy review a couple of weeks ago will know, I've started doing this where I'm reviewing multiple books or a whole series in one go. Um, I think this way you can talk a lot more about the characters and development without spoilers, so really excited to get this going. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Half Bad series by Sally Green. So the third one, Half Lost, has just recently come out. So it's the perfect time to really be talking about the whole series as a whole and what I thought about the characters, the plot and all the other elements as normal. So firstly then, what did I think about the concept of the series? So the basic gist is it's kind of almost pitched as a grown-up Harry Potter. So the main character is a guy called Nathan who's the son of a black witch and a white witch, so he's kind of half black, half white. And that's basically the conceit of the whole novel, is the clash between these two different cultures of witches, Nathan's place fitting into all of that, and the ongoing battle that's kind of brewing in the background. So it kind of looks like it's going to deal with a lot of issues of, kind of, almost touch on racial issues, but also deal with a lot of issues of his own personal identity, and him growing up and achieving adulthood and as well mix into this whole massive fight of this kind of fantasy, two huge clans of power clashing. So it's a really interesting concept to get started with and it really gripped me quite quickly. And I think the covers really help, they're beautiful and they're really interesting. Um, and straight away the concept looks really strong. So how does the story and the plot deliver on the concept? In general, it does quite a good job. Uh, it's very much the story of, a very personal story of Nathan, the main character, and his family and his life and his relationships kind of framed in this larger, big, epic narrative. And obviously it links together, but it does feel very personal, the story, and you really connect with the characters as a result of that. So while it originally might look like it's going to be this grand, epic battle trilogy, it's actually much more personal than that, and I think that's a really good thing for it. Um, the race issues, which do look like they're going to be massive from the concept and the whole description of the book, are actually a little bit peripheral. It's almost like they end up just being these two groups that are competing. His position in it does is kind of a bit grey, but it's not a massive part of the book. And actually it's much more about his personal identity rather than how he fits into this overall racial structure. So it's quite interesting on that front, but it isn't necessarily what it first looks like it's going to be. The ending, which is a huge part of a book for me, is really good. The trilogy feels very much like a cohesive whole, the books fit together nicely, and though the conclusion does feel a little bit out of nowhere, it is still a beautiful. The actual ending, the very final few pages, is incredible. I don't think I could have even possibly imagined a better ending to a trilogy. I think it does a really good job on that front. I think overall the plot is good, if not necessarily what you might expect to start with. The other thing to note about the plot is that it is quite gruesome. There's a lot of very dark, angsty imagery. There's lots of death and torture and pain. And I really like that, and that it doesn't treat teenagers as children. It's really quite brutal about it, but it still feels so relatable, and that's really well done. How are the characters then? So generally, characters are a really big part of something like this for me, and they're so well executed. There's a huge cast across the three books, and no one is obviously good or bad. It's all so murky, and whether it's a black witch or a white witch, there's so many shades of grey in how the characters interact, and you never know who's good and who's bad, and that's fascinating about it, is that the side, the allegiances can turn, and one, one action by a character can completely change the way you view them, and that's so well done. It's so layered on that front. Particular characters I absolutely loved. Nathan, the main character, is quite interesting. Not my favourite character, but he is really well done. The other characters that stand out, there's Marcus, Gabriel, Celia. I won't explain too much about who these are in the grand narrative. If you've read it, you will know what I mean. But if not, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but the general cast is really well done and everyone's got a really interesting journey they go on. The relationships between the characters is also quite well done and that there's a lot of things like romancy strands and things that are kind of really uniquely done. There are LGBT issues covered in the book, but actually they aren't issues as such. Some of the characters happen to be LGBT, and that's basically all there is to it. It's not about whether the characters, you know, discovering their LGBT status or anything like that. They just happen to be LGBT and that's just part of it and it's not a big issue and that's so good to see in YA literature and should be much more common. In terms of the writing then and the general structure of the trilogy, again, I was generally very impressed. They do fit together as a really cohesive group. The first book is probably the weakest, but it has to do all the world building and establishing the characters and the world and I can see why that's a bit slower. But the writer makes up for that by doing some quite interesting things with the form and the perspective of it. 
So a good 30, 40 pages of the first book are told in second perspective, second person narrative, and that's never really done. It's all about you as the reader, and it really pulls you in. And that's really unique and straight away grabbed me into the book and into the plight of the characters. So even though the first book's a bit weaker, it's got those things going for it as well. And as I said, it really builds well to a really good conclusion. I really hope these characters aren't revisited. The story feels very well finalised. Um, I'd love more in this universe, but definitely different characters. Please, sadly, if you do any more. Overall then, what did I think about this series? So generally, I was really impressed. I think they're really well formulated. The characters are interesting. It deals with a lot of really relatable issues. Um, some scenes which probably should pack more of an emotional punch do fall a little bit flat. And there's definitely some things that could elevate it that bit more, whether it's more emotion, whether it's just expanding the, the kind of racial links which seems so obvious that little bit more and there's a lot of stuff that could have been explored further but generally what the author does do is done so well. I really enjoyed the characters, I really enjoyed reading it and I think it's a series I will come back to and I'm recommending to a lot of people. I think if you liked Harry Potter, if you like gritty, angsty, YA or you like any form of fantasy, this is a series you should definitely read because you'll enjoy it. Overall I gave it 8.5 out of 10. So there we have it, my review of the Half Bad Trilogy by Sally Green. Really good trilogy, definitely advise you all give it a read. If you've read it, please comment down below. I'm intrigued. I've talked to a few of my friends and colleagues who've had different perspectives on things to me. Um, and I'm really intrigued to see what you guys think, about particularly some of the characters and some of the relationships that develop and whether that was the right way to go with it. So please comment down below if you've read. Uh, if you've got any suggestions based on what I've said as well, that's really appreciated. Having finished this, I've not got many series on the go. I'm reading lots of standalones. So any new series would be massively appreciated. And other than that, a like and a subscribe is really, really appreciated if you've enjoyed. Um, really enjoy doing this for all you guys and I really enjoy the feedback I get as well. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with my next video.